So, so break down some like amazing like, like what what made you come up with all these ideas to just be like a, a little crazy there on YouTube? Like, what inspired you to do all of that? Well, I, I'm I'm long winded, so I'll give I'll do my best to give you a short punchline. <laughs> you can be long winded. We got time. My crazy fucked up life. That's what you know. Just like <laughs> I had to figure out a way to you know just kind of kind of be myself amidst the chaos, you know, and, you know, the the newest um, Paradigm Shift episode that I'm currently working on here, um, PSEC um, 2013, Overcoming Fear of Self-Promotion, and you're going to get to see me and Katarina do some amazing shit, because that was from the last day she was in Chicago, because so she was beat all fearful and everything, and, you know, we were sitting in the restaurant, and um, everything was cool, and we just kind of synchronistically aligned with stuff. Because I was just like saying to the waitress, like, you know, saying, Hell yeah, my best friend Katarina, it's just her last day in Chicago, she's leaving in a few hours, whatever. And the waitress is like, Oh, that's nice, that's cool, so on and so forth. I'm like, Yeah, and she's got this awesome YouTube channel. You know, if you uh, do a Google search or YouTube search for Katarina Edwards, you, you know, she'll pop right up there. What? <laughs> uh. Mainly it's because my YouTube channel is so underdeveloped. There's still good there's still good stuff there, Katarina. You view yourself through more judgmental eyes sometimes. You really do. Thing. Who you really are is just whatever you want to be in the moment, whatever whatever is natural in that moment, really. Um, and uh, it, it doesn't mean you have multiple personality disorder. That is complete BS. You're just you're just you in the moment. I mean, sometimes I'm really giddy and silly. Sometimes I have more of a dry sense of humor. Sometimes I'm really angry. Sometimes I'm really upset. Sometimes I feel like I'm a friggin' psycho. But a lot of the time, I just feel um, so much peace within me. So we can beat around the bush forever and take the 10 steps to success and the 7 principles of this, that, and Timbuktu. We can do all that and we've been doing it. And the real deal about real awakening is you gotta face your shit. You gotta deal with your demons and face your shit. There's no other way around it, alright? It's a part of life. Life is a learning experience. and. It doesn't have to be the way people make it out to be. They think that they're stuck in this big revolving cycle and circle and there's no way to get out of it. That's what society does to you. It, you feel trapped in society, but that's not the way it is. If you just take time to think, who do you want to be? What do you want to do? Can you do it? Yeah, you can do it. That's the only question I can answer for you. There's a lot of good stuff there, including stuff from when you went to Hawaii. Hello! I'm here in Hawaii. Hawaii! It's morning. And there are trees all around me. There are gardens. And I think this is about as close to a palm tree as I could come to. Sorry, Katarina. But anyway, she is posted. Um, just an awesome video about her experiences. Yeah, this is just a really lovely experience so far. And I feel very lucky that I'm here. And I'm learning all the things that I'm learning right now. And <sighs> just living life. Living life. And, um... I'm going to be taking parts of that and editing that and making it into a more spiffy presentation. It's amazing how fast the synchronicities are coming these days. How fast life is coming these days. Just fast. <laughs> um, really no time to wait and catch your breath and hope you're ready. You're just going to have to jump in. It's 
what I did on May 4th. I was like, I'm going to go. So here I am. I'm here. And I'm in the perfect place. The woman is incredibly amazing. She is so kind. And she treats us so well. Um, she doesn't call herself a teacher, but she's an extremely wise woman. Teaches you how to teach yourself. Teaches you how to unlearn things, how to become your best teacher. Focusing on the paradigm shifting points. I have a feeling this is gonna kind of be how my life's gonna go for the next little while. I'm just gonna go around, go places, learn, meet people. Already I've met some pretty wonderful people here, and they've all had something to do with sustainability and had something to do with spirituality and all of this cool stuff in art. Art, I've met some re really lovely artists so far. Um, I think I'm going to start working on some paintings of the volcano goddess here, Pele. Which are to point out to you to be a living physical reality proof example. So, it should be pretty cool and pretty epic that anything's possible. I thought I was going to be in a little cottage thing and not really have much, um, didn't not really have much to uh, call mine here, but the universe is wonderful and extremely abundant and I was, I'm so grateful that this is what I ended up with. And she's like, Dave, you're just you're just you're just saying that, and you, you know, like 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 just just when my my channel isn't good enough, and da da da, and all, all this other stuff, and and when you were here before in Chicago, there's lots of good stuff there. Here's here's Katarina in Chicago. She made it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And here's O'Hare Airport, the parking aspect of it, and the roadways, and and just it's it's as big as the city. It, re it really is. It's a city in and of itself. It it's bigger than some of the suburbs we have around here. And it's multi-floor. This is a... Yes, I gave her that. That's the rose that I gave her. The pink rose to match her nervousness. <laughs> but you'll get over it. I'll get over it. That and the cold. The cold's actually pretty similar to Portland now that I'm feeling it. Well, that's because we're starting to move into spring. If you were here a week ago, you'd have been like, holy motherfucker, it's like 16 degrees. You know what I mean? You'd have been like, I should have dressed warmer. <laughs> yeah, that would not have cut it for cut it for the weather a week ago. You'd have needed like at least like a, a, a sweater or two under there, and you know what I mean? Well, as it is, I already have like this coat from Peru. It's just like uh, canvas and fleece, so uh, it's very okay. warm. Listen, here's me and I don't have my Stone Cold Steve Austin face because she got her druthers. There, there she is. Katie. Katie. Now. You wanted to see Katarina? Come see her. Give her a hug. Take a Not that I'll miss it too much. Here's Katarina, she's arrived. What's up guys? We're heading down to the train. So you like the train. Oh, oh here comes another train. Choo choo. I met a hippie on the bus on, on the train on the airplane. Really? From who went to Berkeley in the 1960s. Oh cool. He's really cool. Yeah, uh, Katarina's petting my pussy. So I went up. <laughs> <laughs> she just got oh, it. Oh, Katie, what's it? Katie, what's it to that song? What did you do from school? What song, Katie? Oh. Yeah, we don't lose the battle. We don't walk it down. Who's walking down? Oh, God, what is the name? Okay. That's the song that they play on the... Radio. And the name they use is Katarina. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. Synchronicity. 
Want to take a look at the indoor pond? Sure. Just capturing on the people movers, as they're called. Yes. I'm just taking this for you, for when I fix your laptop, you'll have some memories. You'll be able to have that on your computer. This is my grandpa's yeah. Oh, cool. It's like old timey and stuff. Yep. Yeah. And Katarina likes this mural thingy. I like the crazy pom-pom and the We're about to get kicked off the people mover. It's like coming to the end of a waterfall, but no one dies. Kind of like, oh, space stuff. Look at all the space stuff on there. The, the celestial, celestial stuff. Yes. See, all, all the all the appropriate synchronicities, you know? I mean, just all nice and appropriate there. We have lava lamp. Katie, Katarina. Watching. Love them. That's almost like a If beliefs did not come with a self-reinforcing mechanism, you wouldn't be able to have a discrete physical experience. And because they come with a self-reinforcing mechanism, when you change your vibrational state. One of the last things to fade will be the self-reinforcing mechanism. It will present the same scenario to you once again, but it will be presented not as a concrete reality, but only as an illusion, only as an echo of what was. To give you a chance to really decide that you will break through that self-reinforcing mechanism by defining and labeling it differently than you used to, proving that you have changed, thus allowing the reflection to then truly come. And there's the infamous third rail. Don't pee on that. The photographer at work here. It's only fair. All's fair in love and unity consciousness. You must not respond to the echo as if that's the representation of your new state. You must respond to it in a sense as if you know it's just an echo and that what you're putting out now, the new response to the old circumstances, that will solidify the vibration of your preferred state of being and truly allow the circumstances to change themselves and take their cue from the new vibration you're putting out, which is the absolute certainty that you are different. Because if you respond to the old echo in the same way you used to, you are not different. This came down from up there. Yeah. Your nervousness starting to wear off a bit? Yeah, because I'm getting excited about new sights to see. Follow your excitement! Pay attention! Pay attention! Pay attention! What you put out is what you get back. If you approach it from an energy state of being, that is of a lower vibration, that's when the clay hardens. That's when it's unchanging in that state. But as soon as you start to be more playful with what's going on in your life, it softens and becomes clay-like, plastic, malleable, formable, changeable. Change is the only constant. So in that sense, when you become more playful, you become more changeable and as a result your physical reality will mirror that changeability become easier to transform from one kind of reflection to another oh here comes another train choo choo oh it's darker but not to the point that i can't see you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Oh, yes. Oh, the boss. <laughs> oh, you can ever change that x-ray? I moved the LCD screen back and forth. <laughs> oh, THX and HD 1080p. Eat that look, you whiny bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I know, there's the toilet seats. Look, there's the infamous yeah. toilet seats. Wow. 
hanging right. You're there in person. You see in the toilet seat. Put the boots up there too, though. Really? What are you gonna? She no, no. She doesn't know about the boot story. I've tried to get her to watch the video, oh, but she doesn't. Oh, she yeah. doesn't. I've tried to tell her, but she hasn't entertained the story yet. I haven't had they the chance. They towed her car. She had a boot on for tickets. Okay. And so they came and they towed her car, and I, I got it all on tape. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you that. It's wonderful. And check this out, Dave. Ben Twitch has got the boot. That proves that they don't care about anything. They don't give a shit about anybody, and they do what they want to do. Oh, man, I was I just slowed down so slow. I just stopped right in front of him and just laughed my fucking ass off. <laughs> God, did you do anything to her? This is energy physics. What you put out, it puts it back. No, that's when I did die. I think she and proved her own point, not honestly. <laughs> yeah, <I do. laughs> and she, she proved her point. Today. She proved her point right up her own ass, twisted and broke yeah, it off. They blew, they blew it <laughs> yeah, what you put out, right all what all you get back, and when you put shit in, you get shit right back out of you. Uh, you gotta love it. Hey, if you're nice, you'll get nice. You're the asshole, you get asshole. The only 50s, 30-year color in that. Yeah, how do you like the pond, even though it's half it's frozen. frozen and... <laughs> yeah. There's, yeah, right, there's the upper extent. So quit berating yourself, you masochist. I got it. <laughs> but it's not necessarily something that you need to, you know, smash you to pieces, as Dave said. You know, he's talking about using it as a method of moving more into your joy and empowerment and abundance and you self be raider shovel girl <laughs> and I was just like you know she'll get the shovel out your butt um, <laughs> feel, feel free <laughs> all right fine we'll thanks see you Dave <laughs> you're welcome Oh, don't don't worry. She'll like she'll like bitch me out later. From there. Actually, no, because I think that that was really cool that you were able to illustrate so beautifully my neurosis. <laughs> Red button. Read that description for us. Saganaki, fried cheese, savory fried cheese, and flamed with brandy at your yes, table. Yes, actually flamed at the table here. So, we're gonna give that a try. <laughs> we're gonna give that a try. Flammable. Yes. Flaming food. I, I hope they're only talking about on the outside and not on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, we're ready. Alrighty, um, mozzarella sticks are working. Cool. Now, to, to be completely honest with you, um, we we make money on YouTube, so we really want to get on video this flaming frickin' uh, Saganaki, the the savory. I, we've never we we we've never we've never tried it before. First of all, and second of all, we wanna we we want to get that on video because hopefully that'll go viral and bring us in a bit more money. So that us a bit more money. Yeah. Well, I, we'll, 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 we'll yeah we will totally put your address and name and everything in the YouTube video. No problem. Okay, so we'll get that working. Yep, and we'd also like um, two plates of um, the Gyro. uh, the gyro, heroes, gyros, whatever. <laughs> and um, uh, she would like a vanilla shake, and I would like a strawberry shake. Beautiful. Oh. And soup, chicken noodle, or can of chicken. Noodle? I don't want any soup. No, thank you. How about you? Oh, you going? You going to Greece? <laughs> what? I'm going back to Portland. Portland. I can't. Yeah. What? I come with you. <laughs> And and then you don't really have to sell as much. You don't really have to go prospecting as much. You don't really have to look for people as much to hand your business card to because I'm going to travel with you and after I go to Greece. Oh, you're going to Greece? And then it's going to come to Oregon. That's so cool. <laughs> with you. Well, well, she, she she's leaving in a few hours, so. Oh, talk to them. Give me an extra ticket. Yeah. Yeah, see, she, 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 she's my best friend vis visiting Chicago for... Build a business and have a life at the same time. Because there's a lot of people who need that. Like, they didn't start home-based business so they could be on the phone or, you know, working on their business 18 hours a day. Like, they, they need the maximum efficiency and time 
available to be able to actually like have their lives. And so if you can do that and narrow it down to be able to do what you need to do in like a couple hours and then just be done with your day, that's really cool. So. <laughs> Uh, probably five. Five hours. It's the West Coast. Yeah, yeah, we ordered. So you want to take pictures? Yeah, with the flaming food. Okay, okay. And they're gonna, yeah, gonna put that on YouTube and put your, your name and address here and get more people. Here. You the owner? Yes. Yes. Here, why don't you put that in video here? The name of your, oh, okay. The name of your restaurant. You look fine. The name of your restaurant. 5959 West Serving Park Road. West Serving Park Road, Chicago, Illinois. What's the phone number? 773-283-4114. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Okay. The Burgundy Restaurant. Yep, www.theburgundyrestaurant.com. So apparently now we got the information in here. like some wine? Some to drink? The beer? Ah, no, I got coffee. Oh, you? I'm only 20. Oh. So, that's <laughs> yeah, you'd be breaking the law if you did that. <laughs> now what we have here is the brown Canadian ground squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens when you put the energy out there? <laughs> Alright, my name's Kelso. Not really. Chicago land bitches. <laughs> Thanks. I'm from the 1990s West Side. Except for, I don't know if it's West Side. I don't know North West Side. North West Side. What's <laughs> happening? You just gotta open up. Chicago land bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a little more encouragement for self promoting? Yeah. Getting synchronistically raped by the universe again. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, even he's camera shy and he's apparently facing his fear for the sake of advertising his restaurant. That's because I told him he's beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna put a pop tart in your ass, Biatch! I'm gonna put a pop tart in your ass, Biatch! <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so coming up soon, a big flaming cheese. And maybe a couple of garden shovels. That's a garden shovels too. <laughs> 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 Wake you up, homie! Ah, homie! Nom nom nom. This creamy, gooey goodness. <laughs> Portland in the house! <laughs> say, what? Chicago, well, actually, Portland's about to be out of the house, out of the Chicago house. Yeah. Portland's got a freaking plane to catch over here. What? <laughs> Hot. Yummy. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> She's getting all sexy with the mozzarella stick. <laughs> 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 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Masticating. He's dipping it, baby. Stick it in there. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He already did that, and punching, and variety. Ow. <laughs> Get shoes on this time, watch it. <laughs> there we go, it's flaming cheese time. Oh. Woo, yeah, baby. Oh, there we go. Want some bread? Sure, yes, please. Sizzling. <laughs> Flaming cheese. Quite literally. Yeah, literally in brandy. <laughs> What's it called, Saganaki? So, yeah, Saganaki. Saganaki. <laughs> she is becoming one with the Saganaki, transcending the Saganaki consciousness or something. <laughs> Let us meditate on this Saganaki now. Om. <laughs> I've transcended my penis's ego. <laughs> and he comes walking up like, okay, what are you guys doing? <laughs> we must break the bread. The second the coming. <clears throat> I just came. The next Empower Network blog. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kind of making fun of all those spiritual people who are like, I'm so okay being celibate. And then they go out and like have sex with their followers. You with, know? Their, with their fathers? What? Oh, you their said followers. followers. Oh, I thought you said fathers. You no. Know, the people who like. Um, or or the. the, 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 the Guru Dev, maybe yeah. one of them. He had sex with a whole bunch of his evil, and then um, it coerced them into sexual fornication. Or how about the Meth Head Ascension program, where you get to trash a sanctuary? That has nothing to do with molesting your followers and being a celibate. No, but it, ha it, 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 it has to do with them um, being completely deluded. <laughs> <laughs> Sexual needs, and then it comes out in weird ways. Yeah, like what about Catholic priests? Like molesting children. I was just thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Synchronicity. Molesting children. They're like, I am so beyond the physical flesh. Except for they're not necessarily holding mudras, they're doing this. I am so beyond the physical flesh. I do not need sex. Come here, little boy. <laughs> I do not need sex. That doesn't count as sex. That counts Look as that five -year -old's domination. <laughs> Sunday school. That's where I get my babes. Literal babes. Let the children come to me for disease who shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. You're doing it wrong! Yes. <laughs> You're doing it wrong! You're doing it wrong! Yeah, just like that. You're doing it wrong. Of the cheese. Yes. Aum. Stomach shock or integration. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Yes, the movie. The movie we're making right now? We're already there. Powder. Powder. You want to powder your face before we get back to the movie. Because she's such a girl, you know. Powder. That you can find on YouTube. That's where we found it. And then we download with video download helper. So you can legally commit illegal internet piracy 
just like all the good spiritual light workers that are against the evil Illuminati who like to have sex with their cousins and their mothers. <laughs> Good day to you this day of your time. Katarina's channeling her lower self. <laughs> I'm opening my root chakra, guys. Yes, the 3D PC. Third dimensional porcelain container. Time to poop! Emotional clearing time! <laughs> the Ascended Masters take Fibercon. Oh, yes. <laughs> but when you want to be full of shit, you can take Farrakhan. Enough video! Enough. It's time to say bye bye! Oh, and here's the shake. Vanilla and strawberry and. You know how else you can tell real ice cream? Ah! And that, it was real. <laughs> <laughs> you just weren't expecting that. No. <laughs> you, you jumped like a mile out of your skin. <laughs> it's like, I know. I you would like some more coffee? Absolutely, please. Thank you. It's coming right back. Yeah. Katarina. Would you grab my cherry? I don't like cherries that much. <laughs> this is wonderful. Try this, try this. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Yep. And I'm okay. about to... I'll buy you this, okay? Oh, well, thank yeah. you. Thank you so okay. much. What? Thank you. Where is this from? This is from Greece. Greece? Greek cheese, yeah. So that's why he said Opa. Opa. Yeah, we, we, we also we also ordered some uh, some heroes Hero, and come, yeah. Come. So, okay. Yeah, it's coming. Wonderful. Thank you awesome. So much. Thank you. No problem. Do a good job. Okay. Yep. We'll get the word out. Let's pack this place. Time to eat now too. I know. Cold <laughs> and it's gonna melt. <laughs> and then and then and then and then and then. <laughs> Well, he said he wasn't going to charge for the Saganaki, and he wasn't kidding. Saganaki, NC, no charge, see? Nothing listed, it's blank. All this other stuff we got charged listed, but not that. Wow, we're not being charged. <laughs> we have assault. There's a battery in my camera. With the amount of assault and battery, but no charge. Ah, domo orekato, Mr. Roboto. Well, that was good.